Which one do you prefer, vodka or tea? Of course, cha, cha, cha. What was it that made these two Russian friends rave? Well, it was a cup of exquisite Shuixian tea from Wuyi Mountain. Recently, Wuyi Mountain in Fujian has gained international attention. Not only did it successfully host the Second World Conference of Sinologists, but it was also highlighted in talks between Chinese and Russian leaders in Kazan, Russia. The famous tea road stretching thousands of miles has its origins in Wuyi Mountain. The tea road originated in the 17th century, spanning over 13,000 kilometers from Wuyi Mountain in Fujian to Saint Petersburg, the imperial city in Russia. It is one of history's longest land trade routes, bridging eastern and western economic and cultural exchanges, alongside the famed Silk Road and Tea Horse Road. This trade sparked a Russian love of tea, complementing the nation's affinity with vodka. Renowned writer Leo Tolstoy once said, "I need to drink plenty of tea, for without it, I cannot work." In Kazan, the Tatar saying goes, "We learned to drink tea and forgot to weave." Can you believe that this cup of tea, which conquered Russia, wafted its way from the small village behind me to the tea lovers around the world? The village is quiet and rustic now. But over 400 years ago, merchants were constantly coming and going. This Mesi River was once packed with bamboo rafts transporting tea. To learn about this history, I visited a descendant of the Zhou family of tea merchants who regularly piled the tea road. Miss So explained to me that Wuyi Rag Tea, due to its unique processing techniques, is well suited for long-term preservation and long-distance transportation. The wide variety of teas produced in Wuyi Shan, along with their distinctive aroma and flavor, have made them very popular in international markets. As a result, many Shanxi merchants involved in international trade would come to Wuyi Shan specifically to sample different teas. In 呃，他们的心目当中，茶是珍宝，所以才会有一位啊作家，他说我好不容易获得了一份茶，但我很多的访客，我为了他们不把我的茶很快速的喝完，我会告诉他们说，嗯，中国茶不能喝太多，你要是连着喝三天，你会蒙了一只眼睛；你要连着喝六天，那两只眼睛就瞎了。他就是为了保护他仅有的那一坛茶，可以喝的时间久一些。On the tea road, tea was considered to be the most precious currency. Many cities along the route flourished because of tea, such as Kayata, a border city between China and Russia, whose name in Russian means the place with tea. Of Russia's eight major cities, seven are located along this road. And this dusty tea road in history is continuing to write a new story. These two tea merchants from Russia are selecting the best Wuyi Shan tea for their tea house. Do you know Da Hong Pao before? Sure.、Uh, it's me and、uh, the red, uh, uh, the red jacket.、Mm. The translation. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes, we try to learn everything because、uh, we need to, to explain to Russian people what we are serving. Which one do you prefer, vodka or tea? Of course, cha, cha, cha. Why? Why? Of course, it's more healthy. Two Russian friends told me that thanks to tea, the younger generation in Russia now drinks more tea than alcohol. Drinking tea has also become a new party trend. And when we have our guest、uh, or we have、um, some negotiation,、uh, we're trying to、uh, serve the tea like Chinese do, and we see that the people become so happy. Yeah, so this tradition in the tea that not about only the drinking the tea, it's、uh, making just with this emotion that、uh, people make you more open, that you are welcome, and everything. The friendliness and inclusiveness of tea has allowed people from diverse ethnicities and cultural backgrounds along the tea road to connect, quickly bridging gaps and dissolving unfamiliarity. 
As a result, Chinese tea drinking customs and traditional rituals spread to Russia and Europe, while the advances of the European Industrial Revolution, along with scientific knowledge, literature, art, and religious beliefs, made their way into China, fostering rich cultural exchanges and mutual appreciation between East and West. Today, the Tea Road has taken on even richer significance. On one hand, under the Belt and Road Initiative, Fujian Tea travels to Russia and Central Asia aboard the international cargo train, bringing the fragrance and health benefits of tea to international friends. On the other hand, tea continues to serve as a bridge for cultural exchanges and mutual understanding between the Chinese and global civilizations. Welcoming guests with tea and embracing the world with an open spirit, these Chinese values embodied by the tea road are ones worth savoring.